yo what is up guys in this video we're looking at the most overpowered 15k la liga team that you can build to take into division rivals or for champions now this team is well put together i really like all the players in this team and i feel like they're the best value for coins players in the game from la liga santander so let's get straight into it in goal we have geronimo rulli he's a, he's a six foot two argentine goalkeeper and crucial the crucial point about Ruli is that he has the saves with saves with feet trait all right now you probably heard that goalkeepers in this game are insane in fifa 22 they got like some new animations and i feel like having a goalkeeper with this trait being being able to save shots with his foot as well as his hands can only be an advantage for us you know so i feel like Ruli is the best goalkeeper in the la liga for cheap in front of him we have two center backs who are really uh, overpowered. On the left center back, we have Mingueza having 78 pace and decent defending and physical. And partnering him in defense, he has his Barca teammate Araujo, who also has pace in the high 70s. And you guys know the drill. It's all about pace in this game. Pace, 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 especially in defense when you need to catch those quick, agile attackers. You're gonna need defenders who can keep up. So Mingueza and Araujo should form a very good center back partnership, and I think I'm very happy with having them in my La Liga squad. At right back, can you guess who it is? Another Barca player. As we know, Barca isn't the best team this season. A lot of their players are lower rated, and Dest is one of those guys at 76 rated, but he has very good pace. Uh, not so much in the defending and physical, but I think pace is the number one uh, trait that we look for. So he has the pace. He's good enough for me. At left back, here we have Alex Moreno. Pace in the high 80s. Decent defending. He has very good stamina, by the way, which is something that I look out for because you don't want to be subbing off someone like a left back at halftime. You know, if you're going to make subs, you're going to make changes. You want to bring on a fresh attacker, score a goal or something, you know. You don't want to be subbing off your defenders. So, Alex Moreno, very good pace, very good uh, stamina. He's a very good value left back from La Liga. In the left center mid position, this is going to be your midfield destroyer, Thomas Delaney, the former Dortmund man, now playing for Sevilla. Just look at this card, man. I can't believe how cheap this card is. 83 defending, 82 physical. 75 pace this man is just a beast in every category and he has low high work rate so he's not going forward i think even if you leave him on balance he's not going forward he's just gonna sit in front of that back four and offer some protection and i really feel like he can be one of the best players in the squad i, I kid you not i know we play this game to score goals but defensively in midfield i think delaney you know, you'd be far fret, far stretched to, to pick like uh, a better defensive midfielder than Delaney. Uh, right center mid is going to be a more attacking option. And we have Carlos Soler. Again, very balanced because even when you're playing center mid, you need to be able to go forward and backwards or so box to box. He's just very balanced in every category, pace, shooting, defending, physical. I feel like having medium medium work rates as well he won't be out of position too much he kind of just sit and kind of go forward when you want him to or if you want him to stay back you can tell him to stay back and stay with Delaney but I feel like Soler and Delaney should be very good playing together now for the attack guys this is the juicy part because like I said we play this game to score goals and our cams our wingers and our strikers will do that so first up we have our cam and if you saw my previous video on the, the best hybrid team you would know that I really like this card and it's Mateus Cunha 85 pace the Brazilian man used to play in the Bundesliga now playing for Atletico Madrid and he has very good pace very good dribbling which is very key in this FIFA being able to turn quickly making those small quick agile movements and that's all that's what he's about you know he's four star four star high attacking work rate he has everything you need to score goals and make assists there's nothing more to say about him he's just that good and he's really cheap like a thousand coins all right 
on the left wing we have one of the best players if not the best player in the team and that is Darwin Maquis the man from Venezuela has 88 pace 80 shooting he's four star four star as well so he has the skill moves to beat defenders he can shoot on the right and his left of course it's not a five star weak foot but that four star weak foot is the next best thing you can have so very good 70 physical as well so you can't he's not like a Messi that you can just push off the ball or like a, a Coutinho that's so weak you know he has some physicality to him which is what I really like as well so Maquis is one of the, the high flyers in this team and at right wing we have the Real Madrid man Rodrigo high pace four star skills high dribbling it's what we're looking for baby we're looking to score goals we're looking to make the opposition defenders look silly and I feel like Marquise and Rodrigo can do that on the left and right wing. And your center forward, your striker, your goal scorer, the man who's going to put the ball in the back of the net is the number one Morales, which I feel like he's the best value for coin striker in the game. I dare you to find someone who is as cheap and as good as this guy. Four star, four star, high medium work rates. I don't know how this man is so cheap because he's so good. And this is the team guys I'm very happy with this team I just might make this team my main team when I get the game because this team is looking real OP and really cheap as you can see here 14,000 coins at the time of making this video and I'm making this video on September 24th this is a very good value team very OP very cheap and hopefully you like this video guys if you have any comments uh, if you think I put in a player that shouldn't be there if you think there's a better alternative let me know in the comments and leave a like on this video if you liked it thank you and I'll see you next time see you